Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are going to be taking a look at how to set up a Cloudflare tunnel. I am here on my Ubuntu laptop right now. We're going to go here to virtual machines. This is just my website that I use to manage all my virtual machines. I made it myself, so your setup will look a little bit different. Now, you might also not have a virtual machine at all, and that is okay. This is just, like I said, this is my setup, so I'm going to enable my SSH so I can connect to it. But basically what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to SSH into your server now this could be a raspberry pi it could be a azure virtual machine in the cloud uh, it could be your own virtual machine you're running on your own server it really does not matter basically what you need is just a server that has an internet connection you don't need a port forward you don't need to do anything and that is the um amazing thing about cloudflare tunnels is that you don't need a port forward so we're going to log in here to our virtual machine as you can see i'm now logged in so this may look a bit weird, um, but I'm connected through my web browser to my virtual machine. Now, you're not going to have the same connection, I can tell you that, um, but you might, which is fine too. So like I said, just get connected here to your virtual machine and we'll get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to update your virtual machine just to make sure everything is up to date. So we're going to say sudo apt update dash y and sudo apt upgrade dash y. You're going to run that command and that's going to update your available packages as well as um, upgrade your currently installed packages. So obviously this virtual machine does not have any updates that it completed. Yours might take a little longer and that's fine. Like I said, I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 uh, on this laptop and on the virtual machine. So now we're gonna say sudo, oops, sudo apt auto remove dash y. So this is going to remove anything you don't need just to clean it up and that is all. So now we're gonna open up Cloudflare. We're gonna go dash dot cloud flare.com and i'm going to open up my password manager here you're not going to be able to see this i'm going to log in here to cloudflare okay so we are now logged in to cloudflare what you're going to do you're going to click on zero trust over here on the left this is going to open up a new page here so looks like i don't have zero trust set up so we're just going to say beam dash networks for our name we're going to click next so we're not gonna pay for this. We're gonna use a free version. We're gonna select that plan and proceed to payment. You don't need a payment method. Oh, you do need a payment method. All right, so once you have created your Cloudflare Zero Trust account, um, yeah, you're here. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go over to Access and you're gonna go down to Tunnels and we're gonna create Tunnel. And we're just gonna name this. I'm just gonna say Tunnel 1. So basically, you only need one tunnel per like location. So let's say you have a Raspberry Pi at your house, you have a Raspberry Pi at your friend's house, you're going to want a tunnel for each of those Raspberry Pis, but if you have two Raspberry Pis at your house, you're going to just want one tunnel, and that one Raspberry Pi can just route everything. So we're going to save this tunnel, and it's going to give us a command. So we're going to select Debian, and we're going to choose 64-bit, and as you can see, there's a command here. Now, by the time you're seeing this, this will all be gone, so don't even try to use this Cloudflare command. We're going to copy this, and we're going to move this over, and we're just going to paste it in here. So basically, this is going to set up our tunnel and install it. It is literally one command. It is the simplest thing ever. So, yeah, so we're going to go back here, and we're going to click Next at the bottom here. That is basically all. So we're going to make a new subdomain. We're just going to say Test123, and our domain is going to be elevatedtech.systems. Just say local host. Okay, so real quick, basically what I was um, alluding to later or earlier when I said you only need one Raspberry Pi, uh, what you can do where it says HTTP local host, instead of saying local host, you can type in the local IP address of your other Raspberry Pi or your other server or whatever it may be. You don't need to necessarily route that to local host. It can be anything on your network. Cloudflare can access it, which is why tunnels are so cool. Uh, they're also a security like concern like you should know what you have routed through your tunnel but very useful tool you only need one per site so that's what i meant by that right here you can see that test 123.elevatedtech.systems was created here on august 7th 2023 and our tunnel name is tunnel 01 so now if we go back i'm just going to install nginx you don't have to do this if you don't want to i'm just doing this for the purpose of this video but now we should be able to open up a new tab here well, i'm just going to type it in Test one two three dot elevated tech dot systems. So yeah, boom, we're here. We have a SSL certificate from Cloudflare. Uh, this is the subdomain we created, as well as nginx that we just installed. So if I were to say sudo systemctl stop nginx, you can see that if we go back here and we reload our page, 
there's going to be a bad gateway because we stopped Nginx. So this is literally the tunnel we just created and it's already routing traffic and there's absolutely no port forwarding. This is just a virtual machine. Like I can ping the internet. I can ping the internet, obviously. And I bet if I were to go to this IP address here, I'm not going to show this IP address, but if I were to go to this IP address, I don't think it would even load because yeah, this is at a remote site that I have. So I can't even connect to this IP address, but I can connect through Cloudflare. Tunnels are an amazing tool that Cloudflare provides. Super easy if you want to run a website. You can actually load balance these as well. So if you have two tunnels that route to the same website you have at your house or something, you can load balance these. So that way you always have, if you want to restart a server for updates or something, you can still have your services available. And that's really cool. That is about it. I'm going to shut down this virtual machine and delete it. And I'm going to delete this tunnel. But thank you for watching this video. I hope you had a great time. I hope um, this was helpful to you. As you can see, it's already showing up as down, which is just pretty crazy. So we're going to go, we're going to delete this tunnel. And that is about it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.